Paul, you've just been announced as the new Chatham Town Football Club director. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm um, really chuffed, actually. Uh, it's been a couple of months in the making, really. I've, I've had some uh, great chats with, with Chairman Paul and indeed the board and, and uh, I suppose got an interview or more of an informal discussion. And do you know what Chatham's in my, my lifeblood, really? I've, since I was a, a young lad, I've always been at, at the football club and I'll never forget, actually, uh, Southern League games against teams like Newport and we'd sort of swap over at half time to, to the other end and there'd probably be about 150, 200 people there. So yeah, I've, I've uh, been a, you know, a fan for my whole life and, 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 and will be and, and I'm really excited and, and very uh, humbled that I sort of asked to, to come, in, come and join the board and, and, and really help out. You said this has been a couple of months in the making. How, how did it all start? Did they contact you? Or how, did that, how did it all come about? Yeah, it was through a few mutual contact actually, and they said, look, you, you know, have you, have you thought of speaking to, to Paul? Um, and Paul came and had a chat, and I said, well, you know, well, let's let's see how, how I could commit to the club because if I want to do something properly, I want to do it properly. So uh, I had to make sure I could give 100% commitment to, to the club and um, and what role I'd be best placed in. And obviously, we came up as as sort of commercial director. Ben is obviously a very um, well-known name uh, in Cheltenham, at both at the football club and, and in, in business. But for, for fans who may not know much about you, how do you sort of describe yourself from the business side of things? Um, I, I suppose some of the fans would know us with, with names on, on shirt. We obviously, before Myra, we, we were uh, the longest serving sponsors, actually. We did about three to four years, and, and, and that was great for, for the business and community as well, because we wanted to put something back into there. So, I mean, we, as, as a business, we've been around for 165 years now, so one of the oldest in in Gloucestershire um, and, and we've got three branches now and um, you know I, I think from you know with builders merchants and the city I'm not going to start doing the pitch on what we can what we do here at work but um you know what uh, what you know what, where, where my sort of business life has been I've built up a great bank of contacts and and you know uh, I will be going to have a sit down with them in, in the near future and see if I can bring that some revenue to, to the football club which is which is ultimately my job yeah, having spoke, spoken to the chairman earlier, we talked about what you what you could bring um, from your side of things. Um, you've got the business contacts. Is that is that what your main sort of area? And that's how you're going to be helping the football club in in a commercial sense. Yeah, yeah, really. Is. So, and, and I think you know my passion, and enthusiasm, and, and and I suppose a bit of cheekiness as well. Um, you know, my job uh, is is very much uh, back office to to help Gary and, and the team get a, get a more of a playing budget. And, and you know, we we've got to communicate effectively amongst us all. Um, and uh, you, you know. <laughs> I suppose I've joined at a time where, where we're still hopefully fighting for our lives and I know we've, we've, we've got four points on, on the other guys at the moment and, and hopefully after the Easter weekend we'll we're be uh, a lot more safer as well and you know in there it'll be a, a pre-season planning uh, I know I've got a great team behind me I know John Finnegan and, and Mark Cousiner for, for many years now uh, and I know I'm really excited to, to work with those guys because uh, you know, they're really going to make it as well, and, and they already have. You, you know, the crowdfunding for the school board was unbelievable. You know, to, to raise so much money for the club uh, was, was an absolute great effort from those guys. Obviously, you're a Chapman fan, you say you've been a Chapman fan for years. Could you ever imagine when you were swapping ends at half time that you'd one, one day be up in the director's box as, as a director of the club? I suppose one stage back. <laughs> I'd, I'd much rather be playing, to be honest, <laughs> you know, and I did ask for full part of my contract whether I could. You have a couple of games and be on penalties or whatever but um, that, that unfortunately was was part of the contract negotiations which were rejected but no in all seriousness yeah you, you know I, I probably us that is, is no but you know I, I've, I've always been associate football club and and you know what as any young child would would want it to be I'd love to have been playing um, this is clearly the next best thing you know being associated with a football club uh, and you know I've known many players over, over the years obviously Shane Duff uh, and Finners, yeah, Shane. I did his testimonial year, so got to know a lot of the lads, and and hopefully we'll 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 get involved as well. All in all, just excited to get going. Yeah, really. So you, you know, it, it's just uh, yeah, I, I really want to get going with the club. Um, the board's a great board as well. It's it's been stable. I mean, Paul Baker has done an absolutely fantastic job over over twenty two years, and, and I know he's made it quite public that he's looking to sort of step down. At, I think that'd be hard for him to do because you know you cut him in half and he's 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 uh, Cheltenham Town and um, you know I'm sure he he be on hand to help us over the next couple of years to, to really push the club forward and, and yeah he leaves the, the club in a in a good financial position and and obviously you know he was very very well liked as a, as a chairman and you know, even going back to, to directors before uh, Paddy Wood you know had a, a lot of respect for him and and, and bless Colin as well uh, you know I, I've seen those guys do it. 
um, and hopefully I can be as good as them and uh, and really push the club forward in, into sort of the, the next sort of five, ten years and the next stage because you know we're, we're a football league club, uh, I'm a, as ambitious as Gary Johnson is, I'd love the team to get further up the ranks, um, he's going to need some more money to do that as well uh, and um, yes they've got a great playing, playing team at the moment um, but hopefully in the close season we, we can we can raise some funds and, and, and get him a uh, uh, a bit more pocket money to go and buy some more players. Sounds very exciting. Congratulations and once again welcome to Channel Football Club. Thank you.